how a vehicle actually make use the five component of AI to make it fully autonomous vehicle. I will explain in two situations. The first one will be human driving vehicle. The next one will be the autonomous vehicle. The first one will be perception. Okay, for example, human driving, we will be using our eye to see the surrounding. So basically for AV, they have all kinds of sensor. For example, we have the camera, radar, and also ultrasound. All these sensor will let the AV to be aware of their surrounding. Okay, so basically this is under the perception. Next will be on the learning. Okay, when we actually drive, human drive the car, we will identify key object. Okay, for example, we are able to identify the car, okay, the pedestrian crossing the road, and also the traffic light. It will be the same for AV. Okay, so initially, human actually assign that this is actually a car, this is actually a pedestrian, this is actually a traffic light. So therefore, after millions of so-called machine learning, the car will be able to learn. So after that, it will be able to quite confidently to pick up that this is actually a car, this is actually a pedestrian, this is actually a traffic light. Next will be on reasoning. Okay, so reasoning is to make informal decision. For example, when we actually drive near to an intercept point, we will potentially slow down our vehicle because we know that there will be potential danger. As for AV, okay, basically, once they near the intercept again, based on the different sensing, they realize that there are many human activities. The AV potentially may slow down or even stop okay, so as to ensure the safety. Next will be problem solving. Okay, so for problem solving is basically to plan a rock and basically to react to unforeseen event. For example, when we plan to travel from point A to point B, when we actually under the human driving, we will have the plan how to drive from point A to point B. As for AV, basically imagine this as a Google map. For example, when we want to travel from point A to point B, they may be possible many, many routes of possible so-called route for the AV to travel from point A to point B. Probably they will pick up the fastest route. So basically, this is how they actually have the problem solving. Basically, again, as I mentioned here, they will plan, okay, for example, if you want to have the fastest route, and they are also able to react to unforeseen event. For example, if let's say there is a traffic jam over here, okay, Google Map will actually prompt you to take another alternative route in order to avoid the traffic jam. Last but not least, language understanding. Okay, so language understanding is communicate with the passenger and also potentially other vehicle.